what you're seeing right now at the beginning of the video, there's only the third one. For me recording, it's the third one. That is because the first one was recorded on my phone, which if you saw the community post, stopped working and I can't really get to anything on it. Then the second time, I just tried to record before this one, and I realized that the SD card in my camera, I'm now, I've now switched to a Canon PowerShot A470, by the way. I tried to use a, like, 32 megabyte SD card. Didn't work. I didn't realize it was 32 megabytes. Hmm. I'll stop rambling and let you actually know what's going on in the video today. Today, we are going to be taking this old piece of my artwork, if it will lie flat, this old piece of my artwork, and we're going to be repainting it as a brand new piece. Some of the features include two suns, a tunnel, of course a train, and a river, all of which have been featured in my sketch. As I told you, I already recorded the intro once or twice before, so I had started sketching. We have the two suns, the mountain, the train car, and we have the river slightly moved, but I don't have a locomotive. So, let me actually get a locomotive after I show you my other thing. So, while I was waiting for new phone parts to arrive, about three weeks, give or take, I ordered some new brightly colored paints. So that then, when I do get around to painting this, Yes, it will be in this video, don't worry. I can have nice, vibrant paints. And I also have a video that will eventually come out, maybe, of where I'm repainting this and my wooden box that is down there. So let me just add a tank engine right here. And... Well, I'm going to add a tank engine. So, as you can see, I have my steam locomotive drawn right here. Yes, I did draw it in a European style. European. I cannot speak. But, now, I think I'll give this a base coat. Then, I'll also get it to find the details after I give it a base coat. And yes, if you have noticed, I have... Uh, kind of use last week's style of editing as in recording in one long segment, then editing, which is how most YouTubers record. However, it was a lot of editing, so I'm trying to integrate it with my clips. We'll just see how that goes. I might just cut at any time in the clip. Like now! Or now. Well, who knows? It might even be while I'm trying to finish the sentence. I have got the base details painted in. As you can see, we have a nice blue sky. We have some gray ballast. A darker gray bridge. Green for grass, blue for water, gray for a stone wall along the water in the mountain. And we have a nice gray tunnel. And I've gotten some of the darker elements painted onto the steam locomotive as well. But now, I have to add the two suns. One of them being purple, the other one being red. Because that's what the original has. Then this needs to be a very, very dark green locomotive. And I'll use a sort of glaze green for over here, or try to, at least. And I'll also paint the train tracks and do the base of the mountain. And then I can come back in for details like clouds, smoke, 
grass over here, which I might paint next. And like ripples in the water, the ballasting, not just the base, the grass, the details on the steam locomotive, for instance. What company is it from? Same for the passenger car. Oh, and yes, I have painted around the sides so that if ever I display it and hang it up, you guys can't complain. So yeah, I'll go and do different detail-y things, which is good, and let's get those details done. I have been working quite a lot, and as you can see, I've gotten quite a few of the base colors in. And yes, I say these are base colors, because like over here, there are a lot of details and outlines and other paint magic to add. I'm so glad that I bought all of those paints over there. They've allowed me to actually make a good scene, like the red and purple suns, which were in the original. And I'm getting more and more and more and more and so it's developed into the scene that you can actually see with color. And this locomotive used to be a very dark color, but it's lighter. And we also have some interesting detailing for the ballasting. I have to outline the ties. I have to work on some of the train locomotives along with the passenger car. To finish up some of the grass areas. I'm waiting for this to dry right now. So, yeah, I've done quite a lot of work since you last saw it. Pretty sure you last saw it white. You'll we'll find it in editing. And also, speaking of editing, kind of. I have decided, since I need time for editing and for finishing my painting, to finally just change my schedule. I've been uh, thinking about this for a while, by the way, and I finally decided I'm going to a two-week release schedule. Meaning that every two weeks, I'm going to be releasing a video. Hence why this video was delayed a week from the previous video. And why there was no video last Saturday. It's because I have changed my release schedule for now. Just so that then I can have more time to be me and have a busy life. And then I can also produce better quality content for you guys because sometimes quality should win over quantity and in this case when I don't have enough free time to actually do all of my projects including city, model railroading, painting, and anything I really should really focus on my busy life of my plethora of different things. So, if I want to actually make things be good, then I have to take my time. So, please be understanding as I'm very busy, very, very busy, and I, it takes time. So, for now, we're moving my upload schedule to a two-week minute. I think I've rambled on hard enough. Let me finish the rest of the base detailing, and then I'll, well, base work, and then I'll get into some of the details, like And I am done! As you can see, I have added several, several things. We've added clouds, I've added rocks in the river. I've outlined just about everything, and I've also added, like, actual ballast texture. I've lightened the color some more. There's smoke now. I also was able to 
fill in the rest of the passenger car. You can see that this is now a door. We have outlining over here. This is brickwork. And finally, we have my signature. So let's compare this, my beautiful painting, to this. Like, a painting from quite a while ago that I also did. So, first of all, we have two sons. Two sons. I like the two sons just because it gives it character and it looks cool. And they're also a different color than normal, so they're amazing. Then, we have a tunnel. We also have a tunnel, just with a better mountain. Down at the bottom, we have a river with stonework or sewer pipes or something. I interpreted that as the bridge here with the river, just so that we would have something interesting. And finally, we have the locomotive and their car. So the locomotive is obviously an O, six, O, which is what I drew over here as well. But this is a European style, and this probably is a North American style. And then I just went with a European style coach over here as well. So yeah, I definitely want to say that this artwork, this one is an improvement. I hope you guys would agree. But, as you can tell, I got my expanders out. <laughs> if you couldn't see, there used to be big metal plates on the inside of my mouth holding the mechanism that was pushing my mouth wider. But, as you can hear, they're gone, and as you saw. And so now I can start to learn to talk and sing normally. Also, because of the weather, my voice is starting to sound weird, so it should, mm. my voice should clear up in a couple of days. It'll be fine. But yeah, that's the completed artwork. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.